Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4, Kai's Reich as Federal China. Let us continue off where last left off. So, we defeated Shang-Chi, we defeated Yunnan, we defeated Tibet. All last episode. So, we have a Costa's belly against the League of Healthies Provinces. Also, I can't, um... Diplomatic overtures to him. Yunnan, Yunnan, such ones that annexed or aligned with the National of China. We could talk to him. And just see what Zheng Zhaolin has to say for himself. But also, League of Southeast Provinces, who are they actually aligned with? That's not what I want. I want Chinese factions. They are... Oh, they're actually... Oh, Andrew and Alliance. Yeah, they're aligned to defending government. Were they guaranteed by the Japanese? No, they're guaranteed by the defending government. Who in turn is guaranteed by the Japanese. Okay, so we can't just invade you because that'll lead to war with, with you up north. So, if that's the case... At least right now, invading League of Celtic's provinces does not make sense. That that would be bad. So let, let's talk to Zheng Zhaolin. See what he has to say for himself. And maybe just maybe we can kind of cooperate for a joint invasion of the Qing. Down south, I'm going to bring you to Blue Army. And just for a moment, Blue Army, you're going to go to this territory here. I'll be deploying. Thank you. What do we have in our field marshal? Do we have infantry expert? We do. Absolutely, we want to take that. Because, again, when you're playing China, throwing a lot of, you know, easy, cheap infantry at the enemy, it's a, it's a pretty good strategy. So we'll take two infantry expert on both of you. Three military factories. Probably use that on more guns. Can I still I convert from stockpile what we can? What I could also do, of course, is... Where, let's see, where do you have supply hub? Supply hub here. You are connected to the capital in a bit of a roundabout way. Actually, what I probably want to do is build some railroads. Let's just say... You're connected by a river. You're actually just completely isolated. You, you go through Vietnam. So let's just connect you... ...to you. And then connect you to you... And then I'll connect this. It'll connect to this river, which connects to this supply hub. Which then will connect to there. Which then loops our way around. But it goes up the river, and the river goes over to here. So... And then you are connected to our capital. Yes. So I think that makes the most amount of sense. We'll, we'll see how long those railroads take to build. It shouldn't take too long, I think. But we'll, we'll see. The national focus. Let's go for... Oh, we actually have to get both of these. I'm, I'm dumb. I thought it was just one or the other. Get military integration next. And yeah, we can't go to war with you. Zeng Zhaolin. We'll, we'll meet him in four days. Will he want to work with us? Because if you, I mean, if you look at our faction right now... I mean, it's basically all of China. Except for, you know, this region. Which I think actually is like the most populated region of China. But don't worry about that so much. We've been, a lot of the land is aligned with us. How many troops does the Qing have? Up to 93. I don't think we can see how many units our entire faction has unless we're actually at war. But right now, I have 48 plus 17. That's a decent. Okay. They have immediately... We've, okay, so there's no negotiations. Thanks, Zhaolin. We have a war goal against you, but I cannot push you because I go war goal against you immediately. Immediately, we'll be going to war... Uh, which would be bad. I, I think that kind of goes without saying. I mean, we couldn't attack you first. No, I think we just go straight for the war against the Qing. Do not do this. Go against the Qing first. Which means I then want to be mobilize you. Because you shouldn't back the Qing. I don't think um, Zhang Zhaolin will attack us until the, uh, until, um, the Qing are already dead. Yes, yeah, so let's move these units. I'm going to say right here, and they're going to spearhead their way straight to uh, Tian. So bring them over. But in that time, I think we want to overthrow the monarchy. The shout on Cleek, I'm going to tell you right now, I'm not too worried about them. Six days for war. I could also get another um, military up and running, which I probably will. Let's actually get an army down here. 
Ron invasion plane up north. Probably okay. Cannot bring units because we're not actually at war. Fine. Well, once we're at war, though, we'll uh. Oh wait, the 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 Chinga just declared war on Zhang Zhao. Didn't form me. Well, that's convenient. That's in that's incredibly convenient. Thank you, Ching. Because we're gonna be going to war with you in like three days, so I'm not too sure what your plan is. Get rid of this. We're now at war. I mean, we could also go to war with you afterwards, but probably will not do that. Green army, you are just going to do a basic invasion plan towards the south. I want you actually going very, very aggressive with that. Then you divisions here. This seems like a really weak point in the Qing defense line, so we'll bring these guys up. Make sure all of our vassal states are in this war as well. Fantastic. Do they want to move their way into Mongolia? Be my guest. I, I don't care. And you guys are still redeploying. I could bring another army into this. Did we actually get our reform up as well? We did. We then need overwhelming firepower, mechanized offense. Hopefully we'll, we'll get there soon, I think. Bring you up north. You're being attacked. Oh, well, anywhere where we can then immediately repush. Like, this guy's got an organization, so war against him will be very, very easy to deal with. Who of you here? Sheldon Cleeks joined the war. That's fine. You guys should, for the most part, be well defended. 81. Purple Army actually doesn't have an uh, attack line. Just attack towards this river. Should be more than okay. How many units do you guys have? Up to 134. We have 104 by ourselves. And then Zeng Zeldin could be providing up to 90 divisions. Which I think is pretty decent. Okay, we got pretty big cities down in the south. But I do, again, want to get another army going. Just like right here. Who would I want? Probably Hunan troops. Bring all of Hunan down here and then bring a couple of Szechuan. Let's go 20 divisions. Seems okay. Bring them down south. I'm going to then put our biggest attack general and you're just going to push away. That is in this direction. I think seems more, more than reasonable. We have a lot, there's a lot of green on the map right now. I like to see that. Because you're worth two. I mean, Beijing is worth 40. So we definitely are going to want to take that city when we can. You're not doing anything. You're under attack. What if I push you here? That's not going to work. And we're just looking for weak, weak armies. Like, you're weak. You're both weak. And that's also going to be another city worth... Actually, 15 victory points. Fantastic. 21, 5. If I just move you to go here after, 86. But then this army, again, I want them being as aggressive as possible. Move down here as quickly as you possibly can. Because you're worth 1. You're worth 12. I mean, I know if they lose Beijing early, they can make Wuhan like a, um, a good city for them. There we go. Continue army reforms again. 100 days. Not bad at all. Can we just march away straight to Beijing from here? I mean, Blue Army is not moving fast enough. I'm also going to make you guys into the Red Army so it's a little bit clearer where you are. All of you here. 15 is fine. The rest of you are also doing okay. Attack and defend the core territory? I'll take it. I don't think it's going to be a major boon for us, but I still think it seems pretty okay. I'm actually going to move you guys up like this. But not that far north. Just these three provinces should be okay. Also, just one second. My phone is ringing. Uh, I forgot. Where's my phone? Okay, hello. So, we, you here do not be doing this. I want you to move your way straight towards Beijing. Bring our reinforcements over. We have victory points here that we do want to take. You down south. And you want over here as quickly as possible. You move down here. You move here. 
And once you're moving up towards Beijing, I then want you to move your way over towards Tian. Just to, just to cut off North Qing from South Qing. I think that will be useful for us. Units here, because it's the victory point you want to take. We got 10, as I said, we got 11 points here. That is one of our objectives for sure. You are worth one, so you're a little bit less important. Okay, let's move our forces forward. Bring the reinforcements up. You will actually get a small encirclement. I'm happy to uh, take advantage of that. I also would like to take the supply hub when we can. Move you guys up north. One weak unit here. And has intervened in the American Civil War. That's fine. You are worth nothing because I think... No, no. You're worth one. I thought that's part of Shang-Chi for some reason. Okay, so. I want you moving here. Purple Army, you're doing fine. But I don't want any of you actually on the encirclement if we can avoid that. And how are these troops down here doing? Not really doing what I want them to do, to be honest. I'm going to shrink green line ever so. I'm going to make you on careful battle plan instead. I mean, actually, green army for the most part probably doesn't even need to be attacking at all. Well, I mean, that, that's not true. Actually, I want all of you moving in like... And I want you also to be moving in like that as well. Do something like that again. Just move, move your work way towards a Wuhan. 61%. You broke your way free from containment, unfortunately. Give you up. You push here. You push north. Aside from that, what do we need? You're not doing anything meaningful. And then you're worth 15. So yeah, we, we definitely want this city. After that, these units over here really don't have anything to do. Gun the Qing down to 78%. You were slowly actually falling apart. I'm okay with that. Bring more troops over. Ching are pulling units up north. Understandable, but I don't like it. I'm actually gonna shrink purple like this. Extend green up. Because again, green, once they take these handful of cities in the south, that's really all they have to do. Purple stays in the fence, but I would like to take the supply hub if we can. Bring you down. So, like, most of their major cities slowly falling. And after this, I think Red Army could also... Doesn't really even need to be attacking. Well, the thing is, you probably have air forces. So actually, yeah, you need to fly over here. I don't know if you can... Is there really not a closer airport than uh, where we're currently at? I don't know why I'm surprised. I feel like I, I probably shouldn't be surprised. But yet, I still am a little bit. 74. Have not taken Wuhan somehow. I mean, I guess... The force had 2%. Have I not researched radio? No, I have. Oh, wait, no, because your Szechuan is based on their country technology, not my technology. Right, 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 right. That's that's less than good. Full position. You're still marching your way up and around. Blue Army, you need to be up here. Full position, 85 should get an encirclement against you. We'll shrink our line substantially. Need to get this unit out of here as well. Please take Wuhan. Like it, it, it's not it's not difficult, okay? You've been doing the Reichs pack, that's fine. Let's then go for 30. 39 industry pack, I think seems good. This isn't like anybody's trying to reinforce that province as far as I can tell. I really need this area cleared up though. 
I mean, I know your supplies aren't great, but I really need that, uh, I really need that resolved. Okay, there is a supply hub. Not connected to our railroad, but if you take this province, it will be. Now we've got this area secure. Szechuan, do you not have enough manpower? A thousand. We probably actually don't have enough guns. Bring up here. It means we're five victory points. It's still nice to have. And okay, 96, 97. The enforcement's going to Boding. Mujin reforms. Doesn't allow us to get this. We didn't need radios, and we need all of you as well. Let it come out of minus 50. We'll go improve logistics. A unit in Beijing. Which is not a surprise. But if I push you here, I put you here. You attack this, and I send the cavalry here. Can you cut Beijing off from the rest of China? Because again, they don't even have like a port around here. Okay, Green Army also does not need to be attacking. Really, is not going to be a benefit for them. If you're over in this area and you're attacking, probably to stop. Like, you don't need to be doing it. Beijing have a fort. No, it does not. Okay. okay. Blue army is also too far south. I don't want to, like, force attack with purple. Kinda, I do need Beijing cleared. How much? I have 104. I could do a four stack on Blue Army as well. Which I don't even think would be a bad thing. You know what? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna force attack with all of you. Is there anywhere else that I want to clean? I wanna clear this up. I wanna clear this up. And you know, I'll probably even just push her my way here as well. But at 78, I don't think you're going to last stand, so your organization should drop pretty quickly. So I'm like, sure, Occupied Territory, you want the most efficient one? We actually only have, we only have one template. Okay, cool. Somehow I didn't even know that. And Ching, 68%. This cavalry division is almost dead. I'm gonna move you here, and I'm gonna do another force attack on purple. Because genuinely, I do think it needs to be done. 85%. 92%. Yeah, I can't get one of you to stop attacking for obvious reasons, but you will stop in 12 hours. And yeah, they've immediately put another unit in Beijing. Could you have, like, not have done that, though? Just, just a thought. Bring these guys forward. 82% here. Wuhan still refuses to fall. And these, these, uh, extra units here are probably gonna die. I don't think there's really too much I can do about that. Got 12 here, 11 here. We're now at 14. We actually apparently put one... We put, like, one green unit in here. There we go. The thing is that all these troops now over around Beijing cannot escape. They're now kind of stuck in this northern part of China. Five, because then we can push our way towards Xiaodong. The thing with Xiaodong is I don't think they're really, they're not, they probably have all their units still in their country. I don't really think they move their units around anywhere. Push, keep on pushing. Push here. We 
have this port. I want all of you to push your way onto Wuhan, please. And it'll be all above the limit. 13% penalty. Terrain. Untree. Okay, it's got a lot of bad modifiers as well, which... I mean, I'm not happy with. Like, don't... Infantry. There we go. 10% attack. Is it 15% defense as well? Oh, definitely will take it. And the only... Literally the only thing we have right now are infantry. So... It just makes sense. This whole area wants to collapse. Let's see if we can maybe get an encirclement here. And you're worth two. You're worth ten. Eleven points total there. You're worth one. I mean, really, it's just we need to take Beijing. Aside from at that, the rest of it doesn't really matter so much. 38 points here. It should be cleaned up in a moment. I'm just going to send these units over here to kind of just put a little bit more pressure on them. 97. Come on. 97%. And you're telling me you can't, uh, can't kill these units off. You want everybody maybe moving my way here? An 86 there. I think like Rose, I can move some units. Again, we do want Zheng Zhao and then uh, Kai Feng. This should be cleaned up fairly, fairly easily. Still at 95. I don't know how it's so difficult for them to get this killed off. Um, what do I want next? I guess we'll take, uh, machine tools after it's okay. We have nine divisions here. I'm gonna split this, bring more blue army up north. Okay, what we want is an encirclement of Beijing. That just seems to be the most useful thing that we could do. Do they even get supplies? Like, they don't even get supplies coming into... Wuhan. So I'm I guess I guess they get supplies from the city itself. But like, come on now. You guys push up like this. 86 here. I want you pushing towards Beijing. Six divisions in Beijing is not great. But we might have. Z Betty and troops now pushing their way into Beijing as well. Like one of you here. Again, if we can get the encirclement, that would be nice. 9754. They are last standing. That's not. I mean, that's not unsurprising. I mean, it makes perfect sense that they would do it like that. Please take Wuhan. Please. Please take Wuhan. can do here. Not really. Radios are on their way. Can I incorporate any of these territories? They need 60 political power, which I definitely do not have. Okay, keep pushing north. Okay, Risa joined the Entente. Anything that's happening in Europe that's, like, out of the ordinary? Not really. I mean, the, I mean Switzerland's in the international now, which is pretty good for them, but... I mean, aside from that, nothing surprising has happened. I swear to God, Wuhan, please. I'm gonna. I can't force that you guys in. Okay, cool. Give me motorized offense. Did we get our army organization? What do we need for the last one? Six days on you. 91, 79. Throw more units into Beijing, please. They're still last stand, but. Less so than before. Probably more rifles really just makes most amount of sense. What about what about a airfield? Well, for now, let's build more factories here. Air base U. We literally still do not have one closer, which is incredible to me. 
stand. Our last stand has worn off, so that means these units should start breaking apart very, very quickly. And I don't see any Fenian troops pushing in here right now. I can kill you, we can get in circle in Beijing. I want to at least take Beijing before we end this episode. Like I don't I don't think that's asking too much. Or take Wuhan as well. You know, any any of those two I think would be nice. Okay, Beijing Beijing Use piece of shit. What do you mean Beijing failed the defending government? No 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 no. No 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 no. Of course you're now the capital. What are they at? 30%. Bring you over. Have you fight here. Have you fight here. Just make sure that when this unit retreats, no other units can support them. Red Army, I'm going to have you force attack your way in. Thank you. Modernized Army Structure. I mean, it's a political power lost. We get a free template, which sucks. Like, who cares? But, I mean, we'll take it. Like, I just want the Qing to be dead, okay? Like, is that asking so much? Are you pushing in here? Blue army, prepare your offense into the fending government, which is going to happen eventually, no matter what. Five days on you... Get our final army reform, or at least what I think is the final army reform upgrade. I think Wuhan will be enough. But it's a little bit hard to say. Four days on you. You no longer have force offense. That should still be fine for you, I think. I don't think they're going to last stand. There's Wuhan falling. Gets a Qing down to 19%. So at midnight tonight. Fenian government has collapsed. Or by Fenian, I mean... What do you mean they took the entirety of the interior? Excuse me. Excuse... That... That doesn't happen. How many troops do you guys have? 3 to 19? Well, uh, fuck you, game. Uh, I will... We'll, we'll, we'll see you... In the player led peace conference event. But for now, thanks for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed, remember thumbs up. Not enjoy, you can thumbs down. Or I mean, see more, subscribe, and goodbye.